Blake Boss here, folks. Today we're going to be looking at one huge factor holding robotics back. And to put this argument in perspective, let's just see how disappointing robotics has been lately. So the movie Alien was released in 1979. 2001 A Space Odyssey was released in 1968. Each of these films portrayed artificial intelligence in advanced robotics. But over 30 years later, we still have nothing like what we saw in these iconic movies. So just what is holding back robotics from what we saw in these great movies? Well, initially my thought was that sensor technology just wasn't there and that's what was holding us back. But during my recent trip to the AUVSI Unmanned Conference here in DC, I asked around to see what the experts thought. From what I gathered, the sensor technology is definitely there. It's processing the data that those sensors provide, which is lacking. Basically, we have the hardware, but we are lacking in the software slash artificial intelligence department. As an investor, how are we supposed to track developments in that arena, though? Well, paying attention to DARPA's robotic challenging featuring Atlas's, Atlas robot from Boston Engineering is a great idea. They have really big events coming up here in December and also the event concludes in December of 2014. I can't emphasize how important this event is to robotics. Also staying current on cognitive computing technology is a really big deal. Watson is known for this at IBM. You can go to their news media room and stay abreast on what's happening with that technology there. Also reading books is a good idea. Robots like Baxter at Rethink Robotics is a great idea to look at that. It's a very innovative product that you can follow. Also popular robotic robot Robot Asimo from Honda is always a good idea to follow what Honda, the folks at Honda are doing there. Also, and last but not least, following news at roboticstrends.com is a great resource to stay in abreast in robotics news. All in all, though, folks, investing in robotics revolution is very hard. I'm still biding my time and looking closer at companies like ABB, Adept, that ticker there is ADEP. IBM and iRobot. But investing in the software side is really tricky. Right now it doesn't appear the tech in Watson is applicable to humanoid robotics. But I'll be keeping an eye out folks so stay tuned. Be sure to check back at fool.com. We'll be bringing you the robotics news that matters. Thanks for watching and fool on.